Jackson Oponya and Helen Oponya are a couple living in Gulu. They are members of the fund who received their benefits after retirement, pulled it together and invested it in a school, St. John Paul II, a mixed secondary boarding school in Gulu, which the couple had started while still in employment. The first benefits I got in 2005 came at a time when we were running sort of funds as a family. And uh, I invested all of that money in building a classroom block. Three more years down the road, I got the second installment. Specifically, we used it to construct a girl's dormitory. We knew that we had to retire from service and come home. Come home to what? Especially after the war when there was absolutely nothing. So we said, no, this is a lump sum of money which we are getting. We should boost this school which we have started. Today, St. John Paul College with a 1,055 student enrollment ranks among top schools in the region and the couple have no regrets for having contributed to NSSF for the better future they're enjoying now. Uh, in, in paid employment, any employee when that time comes for retirement must get some form of benefit. And uh, in most cases, employers, based on my experience as a senior person who worked in many corporations, the employer will not have that money. And so the best way out is to ensure that the employee contributes collectively with the employer. Personally, I was also skeptic when contributing to NSSF at the beginning, because you know, according to the history, the economic history of our country, um, the rate of inflation had been very high prior to 1992, and so most of the savings, if it was not because of the safeguards that this government brought into, uh, into perspective, would have been lost by way of inflation. But now the country is running on a stable economy, a stable normal economy, which means that savings are safe. And secondly, NSSF, uh, according to my understanding, also gives interest commensurate with current uh, rates of, of, of financial charges. So I think everybody should be encouraged to contribute.